Here we have a nice wooden box. It says Talus on the front, and that's because inside it has a Talus uh, pinwheel calculator. This is a very early pinwheel calculator. It was made somewhere around 1911-1914. Uh, later versions of this were in production not until the 1960s. But this is an early version so it doesn't have many extra features. It doesn't even have any safety interlocks between the various parts. So it has an input register up here with the nine input pins and uh, yeah, if you turn the crank, the number you've input gets added to the main register here and the revolution counter here gets incremented by one. So you can turn the crank a few times for a small multiplication. Now I've done it three times, so I've multiplied this input by three. You can move this carriage i move it to the right, one step. Now turning the crank will add this number one digit to the left, so it's essentially adding it ten times. And the second digit of this revolution counter will be incremented. So the number here is what you've multiplied the input by, and yeah, the result of that multiplication has been added to this main output register. Uh, to clear the input you can use this moving comb here. If you uh, move this to the left and, and turn the crank it catches all these input pins so that you can, uh, yeah, so that you've cleared the input. That's quicker than doing it uh, individually one by one. To clear the output, you have to turn this wing nut. Subtraction is uh, just as easy. It's simply turning the crank in the opposite direction, anti-clockwise. This uh, switch here that shows you whether you've done subtraction or addition. When you turn clockwise it moves up to the plus, counterclockwise it moves to the minus. This has no other function except for if you uh, go part way through a revolution and for some reason the, the mechanism is locked up and you have to reverse. This is actually the latch that keeps that reverse from occurring. So if you uh, slightly move this further, you can then shift the, car the crank back to its uh, original position. But that's only done for emergencies if for some reason the mechanism has broken and it's locked up. This might happen, for example, if you've moved the carriage and not had it, have it uh, yeah, slot into a proper position. If it's halfway in between and you try to move it, it might, might lock up. That's one of the safety mechanisms that is not uh, implemented in this version. Uh, later versions would lock the crank before, so that you couldn't even turn it if the carriage wasn't in a correct position. The uh, revolution counter does not have a, a carry mechanism, so if you subtract it just turns the wheel the opposite direction and it will show red digits and uh, yeah, red digits to indicate that it was subtracted. And uh, yeah, that, that's it for this uh, simple pinwheel uh, machine. The uh, Talus uh, 
company, Talus Verka, was founded in uh, 1911, and after two years it, it, was, it moved to Rastatt in, in Germany, right next to the uh, border of France. The main uh, engineer and co-founder was Emil Schubert. He'd uh, worked previously at uh, Triumphator and uh, yeah, was a very successful and uh, clever engineer. Later, after he left Thales, he was forced to leave when, uh, yeah, due to the Nazi regime. But he managed to found his own company, uh, named after himself, Schubert, and continued making uh, pinwheel machines uh, for a long time. The uh, Thales Werke, uh, yeah, they also continued for a long time after the war. They also made uh, other kinds of machines. I have the Thales KA, the Klein Idea Machine, and uh, there's another video where I show that. So that's the Thales Model A. Thank you for watching.